Hello, I'm Jamila Masaiva, an international social etiquette consultant and author of Etiquette Books. Etiquette, the least you need to know, and afternoon tea etiquette. If you would like to order my books, please make sure to email me at infojamilamasaiva.com. I'll also link it down in the description box below. If you are a new viewer on my channel here, I talk about soft skills, etiquette, self-development. If you're interested in all of that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back to my channel. I'm always delighted to see you here. Today's video is something that was requested by some of my followers on YouTube after seeing my reaction video to Hailey Bieber as well as to Zendaya's eating etiquette. So this is my reaction to Florence Pugh eating 11 different British dishes. Pay attention to how she's drinking her tea. She's taking her tea with milk. So she gets first the tea and then on top you add some milk. That's the correct way of serving tea. If you would like your tea with milk, first goes tea and then you add the milk. In this particular episode, you also see a three-tiered afternoon tea set that is placed in front of her, though she's not actually eating from it or showing how she would enjoy the afternoon tea. We see that the order of the way that the things are placed is correct. On the first rack, we have the sandwiches and the second scones with some clotted cream and jam. And in the third, we have desserts. So everything so far is very good in this video. Now, in this second episode, we already start noticing a mistake and that is her dunking the biscuit inside the tea and then eating it like that. This is something that is permissible to be done at home, socially, amongst your friends, your family, but if you are enjoying this in front of a public, if you're out and about in an afternoon tea, or if you're out and about with other people, you do not dunk your biscuits inside the tea. It's a very childish thing to do. The only thing that is allowed or acceptable to be dunked into um, a drink and eaten like that publicly are actually croissants that you can do so into your latte when you're enjoying breakfast in France. In this next clip, we see an airplane view, an overview of the way that her table is set up. And we see that on top of the napkin, she has first the, what looks like a small salad fork, then she has a main course fork, she has a main course knife, and then she has a spoon. So we know from that order what is to be expected first, something that is a pudding or maybe a soup or something that could be eaten with a spoon. Then we have the salad um, fork, and then we will have the main course fork and knife. The most interesting thing in this setup is that it's rather informal. In a very formal setup, we would have the forks on one side, on the left side, and the knives on the right, and the spoon as well that goes also on the right hand side. That would be the very formal setup. What I actually started observing lately as the you know, fashion is changing as the life is becoming more fast paced and things are modernizing that a lot of even formal setups sometimes in a restaurant would have all the cutlery aligned on one side on a napkin. So this is something that you will start seeing more and more today. In this episode, this, you see that she's enjoying the traditional English breakfast. Pay attention to how she's holding the cutlery. She has placed her index finger way above over the fork, which is not the correct way. Your finger should not be touching the top of the fork. It should be right in the middle between the bridge and the holding part of the fork. And the same goes for the knife. And what she did correctly is that she hid the ending part, the holding part, inside of her palms, which is the right way of holding the cutlery. Also, if you pay attention to the way she's eating, she actually is using the utensils in the very right way. What I mean by that is that she's holding the fork ties down, she's cutting a little bit of an egg, and then she's collecting the beans on top of her fork, which is the correct way of doing it, and while still keeping the tines of the fork down, she moves the fork to her mouth. My only recommendation in this case would be to bring her body closer to the fork without bending too low over the plate like she does in the video. She brings herself way too down over the plate. What you have to do is bring your body closer to the plate, especially when you're eating something that can um, fall off like the beans, to make sure if they fall, they fall on your plate. But at the same time, what you would do is you would lift the fork closer to your mouth rather than bending your face closer to the fork. 
That would be the only recommendation I had for her in this particular episode. The next thing that she does is something that actually astonished me the most because watching this video I thought to myself that I think she knows really well how to handle her cutlery and how to eat properly and she actually knows what to do it's just she allowed herself to be really free in this video but one thing that really struck me is her sniffing her food prior to uh, eating it this is something you're never allowed to do as an adult no matter where you are except for, for example, your house probably is the only place where you can actually sniff your food. The rest of the places, regardless if you're gathering at a party that's informal with your friends or at your formal restaurant, you never sniff the food. The only thing you can do if you're unfamiliar with the scent, if you're unfamiliar with the food item, what you can do is take a small bite, try it, chew it. If you like it, then you can take a bigger uh, bite. If you didn't like it, just let it be on your plate. There's no need to move the things around or try to toss it somewhere. Just leave it on your plate until your plate is cleared. The next faux pas that she commits is something that Zendaya also did in a video is once they were done with the meal, they pushed away the dish like that from themselves. You're not supposed to move around any dishes. Even if you're done with the meal, just let it be in front of you. With the use of utensils, you can indicate that you are done. So place your knife and your fork alongside like that at 10 to four, or it could be 12 to six, and the waiter will know that you're done with the meal and your plate can be cleared even if you have food left on the plate. This also applies to even if you didn't like the meal, for example, you were served something, you didn't like it, you don't want to continue eating it, there is no need to push away the dish. You let it be, again, place your utensils in a finished position, indicating to the waiter that you would like your plate to be cleared away. In this next episode, you see that she's eating scotch egg and she's applying some ketchup on it. The way she does it is she takes directly from that little plate and applies it onto her scotch egg. This is understandable that she's the only one eating from that, but if you were to share that ketchup with other guests at the table, you first take the ketchup, transfer it first to your own plate, Again, that's all for hygiene purposes. Leave the spoon back in and then only use your knife to apply the ketchup onto your scotch egg and eat like that instead of dipping the scotch egg into the ketchup. In this next episode, we see how she is drinking tea, taking a little break from food, drinking her tea. We know that she's holding the teacup correctly. She has pinched her index and her thumb together and she has tucked her, her other fingers underneath. So we know that she knows how to hold her teacup, except while she's drinking, she's slurping. And we all know that no one slurps at the table. Even ever since we're little kids, we're told to chew with our mouth shut and not to make any noise at the table. I think the reason she's slurping in the video is to kind of allow her personality to shine through and make it relatable. I understand I'm going to read a lot of comments of those of you that are saying she's being natural, she's being herself. I'm not an advocate for being unnatural or being dishonest to who you are. You can let your personality shine through even with good manners. Teaching these rules is just to allow you to become a better person or a better individual at the table, respecting those that are around you or are seated together with you. You might enjoy slurping, but I'm not sure the rest of the guests will say or feel the same. The next important rule to keep in mind is when you're eating with fork and knife, make sure that you cut bite-sized portion of that food. So you can put one bite-sized portion into your mouth without having to open it really widely and without having the food stucking out from both of your cheeks on both sides showing up. 
Remember when you are enjoying meal with other people, it's about the company of those people. It's about the conversations at the table. It's not about stuffing your face or feeding your stomach. So pay attention to how you're eating and make sure to get used to cutting the food into bite-sized portions. The reason I say that I think Flores knows to how to handle herself at the table is because notice that unlike Haley or Zendaya, while she's taking a break from the food and while she's talking, she has placed her utensils correctly at the resting position on her plate and continues talking without holding the utensils in her hands. In this next episode, you are going to understand why I always say not to move around the dishes at the table or not to stand out and reach out to things uh, to take them. You, if you want to take something from the table that's far away from you, you can always ask the people around you that are closer to that item to pass it to you. But I understand she's the only one seated at the table, so she doesn't have anyone around her to ask for her for them to pass something for her she could probably ask the waiter that's serving her or alternatively she could have lifted herself a little bit up from the chair to reach out for something that she wanted to take because while she was seated and just stretching her hand ended up in a little clumsy situation the next big etiquette mistake that one should never commit is groom yourself at the table where there's food. No matter where whether you are, even if it's an informal gathering or especially when it's a formal one, if you have to apply lipstick, take care of your hair, fix your jewelry or clean your dress, whatever it might be, excuse yourself from the table, go to the restroom, make sure to fix yourself there and come back clean and tidy back to the table. In this episode, we see how she's handling an entire chicken and I would say she has done an amazing job yeah, thanks to the tip shared by Ollie, Jamie Oliver. What the trick is, is you have to pierce the fork deeply inside the chicken, take your knife and cut this alongside to the bottom. Once you've hit the bridge, what you have to do is just peel away the breast and voila. You have an entire chicken open and then you can start enjoying cutting little piece by piece and enjoying the chicken breast with some vegetables adding everything to your fork and leaving the tines down moving the food to your mouth Next, we see that she's been served Victoria cake and she gets her utensils all served on her own plate. Usually, the dessert utensils would be placed on, on the sides of the plate. Um, they will either be above it and then they'll be moved to the sides once everything else is cleared out or sometimes they're brought in together with a plate but are placed on the opposite sides of the plate. But however, in this case, she gets them right on her plate. I think that she then moves her fork and knife to both sides. And then she uses this cake server uh, to cut the cake. Because this is a very soft and delicate cake, she uses this to both cut and serve herself a cake. Once she has cut the cake already, taken a little bit for herself, she doesn't know now what to do with the rest of it. She doesn't know how to handle. So let me just get myself a little piece. And once I've actually already used this, so it's not clean, I can't place it back on the tablecloth because it will stain it. What I would have to do is once I've placed it on my plate, is place it back on the rack that's holding the cake. So instead of putting it like this because it can slip and fall, I would place it like that, ensuring that it stays on this tray instead of placing it back on the table. So 
I've mentioned this already in a couple of my videos about how to correctly eat desserts both in afternoon tea etiquette video as well as in a dining etiquette video as well as in my online course I show different kind of desserts and how they should be eaten. If you haven't subscribed or seen my online course make sure to check it out I'll link it down in the description box below. So we see that she served a fork and knife to eat the Victoria sponge cake. What she does is she places the knife blades inwards in a resting position on her plate and instead just only uses the fork to cut and eat the cake. This is because the cake is very soft, it's very easy to just break it with a spoon with the flat side of the spoon. You take just a little bit, break it and then use the tines to collect the cake and transfer it to your mouth. For this shoot, I would like to thank Casa Baku, the unique first and only culinary school here in Azerbaijan that is accredited by City and Guilds London Institute. All the students of this culinary school receive internationally recognized diplomas. If you're interested in joining the culinary school, you can find all the information down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and learned a lot in the process. And please do let me know down in the comment section below what were some of your favorite moments as well as what are some things that you learned for yourself for the very first time about the table manners. And as well, your video suggestions are always welcomed. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!